Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So yesterday I actually went to my local Microsoft store and picked up a Microsoft Surface Pro, the 2017 version. Uh, in addition to the Surface unit itself, I also ended up getting the accessory bundle as well as a few extras. So I thought this is my one chance before I actually get these all set up and take them out of the packaging to do a little unboxing video and show you some of the items and what comes in the bundles and what are some of the extras that I ended up picking up and what you get in the packaging with all of these. So why don't we take a look at this. So the first thing to note actually is it came in this uh, really nice bag here <laughs> interestingly enough. So leaving the Microsoft store they gave me this nice bag. It's actually a reusable one that I think you'll be able to use for groceries or shopping around the town so I thought that was a nice touch but anyway let's take a look here so the first thing obviously is the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro itself here so that I ended up getting the uh, i7 version with the 16 gigabytes of memory and the one terabyte drive um, and that's the unit itself so you can buy that alone but in addition you're gonna see that you need all kinds of extra stuff to really make this a functional machine here so you're gonna need things like the uh, type cover here so I figured yeah let me pick one of those up while I'm down there now they actually had a nice bundle that would allow you to get both the type cover which is right here as well as get a uh, cover or carrying case for the entire unit so I got one of those as well and in addition the bundle also comes with a subscription to Microsoft Office Home that was nice and the one thing I guess that's not pictured here in the bundle here was uh, it also comes with a two-year extended warranty here that'll allow me to trade in the machine if it gets broken or if there are any issues here for for two years so all in all, the bundle here, which was again the type cover, the case, the um, Microsoft Office 365 Home subscription, and the two-year extended warranty was another $300. Um, unfortunately, uh, we're still not done at that point here because, as you all know, the whole reason to have a Surface is to be able to draw and interact with it uh, in a method other than just the keyboard and mouse. So. I ended up having to buy separately a pen. So here's now some of the extras that were not part of the bundle as I ended up having to buy another pen here for uh, usually they're $100, but luckily they were running a, uh, a special here for 10% off teachers and educators. So I was able to apply my faculty discount here and get 10% off. Unfortunately, that only applied to the pen, uh, not to the actual unit itself and not to the bundle because those were already uh, on sale. So uh, I ended up getting a pen and then in addition I also ended up getting uh, a second charging uh, cable here, a 65 watt power supply. So there is a 65 watt power supply included with the Surface Pro so you can go ahead and charge obviously but one thing I like to do is have this system be mobile so that I can keep uh, one charger here at home, one charger in the office, and then when I go back and forth, I don't need to lug the charger here. So I ended up buying a uh, second charger to enable that type of functionality. So again, this here is the overall setup of all the things I got from the store. So again, we've got the Surface Pro on the far left, and then four items that came with the bundle being the type cover. Uh, again, this is actually the standard type cover. Maybe I forgot to mention that earlier. It's not the one with that Alcantara fabric on board. You could actually upgrade the bundle for another $30 to get that keyboard, but really I couldn't tell much of a difference. We'll take a little bit closer look when we actually unbox that, and you'll see that I really couldn't... Uh, they, they look very similar, so I ended up not going for the upgrade. So sorry for getting sidetracked. So again, the bundle for $300 was the type cover, a carrying case, the Office 365 subscription, and the two-year extended warranty. And then, unfortunately, to buy separate, you had to get a pen for about $100, and then another 65-watt uh, power supply, which was about another $80. So with that, why don't we take a closer look and open up each one of these things in turn? All right, so why don't we start off with the Microsoft Surface Pro unit itself? So as you can see, here's the box, uh, very minimalist design here on the front here, nothing really on the sides. Um, I think on, on the back here, you just get some specifications and 
As you can see up here, it tells you uh, the operating system as well as the processor, the drive size, and the amount of RAM on board. So, uh, pretty standard. Why don't we go ahead and rip open, take off some of the uh, shrink wrap here. We'll see what else comes on inside. So first thing to note is uh, what's actually a very nice cardboard constructed box here. It's actually, wow, the tolerances on these are very tight. It's kind of hard to open up here. Let me see if I can kind of wiggle my way to open up the, ah, there we go. Jeez, it's almost like airtight here and it's uh, just cardboard. So let's take the, uh, the lid off and as you can see inside, you just get the unit here all nice and shrink wrapped. So... Let's take a gander at this. We'll move this off to the side and bring it back so we can open it in a second. But here we go. Let's see if we can uh, turn it over on the back here and just go ahead and take off this plastic, which is kind of sticky glued on. Pick it up and let's get rid of the plastic. Now, as you can see, here we go. It's a very nice, lightweight unit here. The screen takes up the majority of this. You've got a nice camera microphone on the front. Let's take a look here on the side. You've got your mini display port, USB here, your uh, power and surface charger connection right there. On the bottom, not too much here. You see you've got the magnetic ports here, as well as the connector pins for the type cover to attach. Looking on the left side of the device, we've got our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the top of the device, we have our standard power and volume up and down. And if we flip this guy over onto the back here, and I think if you open up the kickstand a little bit, you can also see down here, we've got our micro SD uh, slot for expanded storage. So again, that's fairly nice here it's a nice lightweight tablet laptop configuration so uh, let's go ahead and take this move it out of the way and see what else we get inside the box here so inside the box I would imagine this is probably just instructions let's take a look here yep you open this up and it's just a nice little instruction booklet giving you information about the unit how to get started and it repeats all of that in a second language if you need that. So, all right, it's nice instructions. Let's go ahead and package that up, move him off to the side. Let's take a look at this one. This, I imagine, is the 65 watt power supply. So let's open up the side and yep, here we go. Oh, there's one of the cables. And oh, that kind of ripped when I pulled it out accidentally. Oh, well, yep, here is our charger so if I just take this off there we go and I'll just plug this into my charger and here we are so I've got my standard North American 120 volt plugged on one side and then this is the other side which should just magnetically attach here to the right side of the surface like such, there we go, and now we can charge it up to get it ready for its first use. Okay, so there, um, and that's about it. So I think if you take this off, this is probably nothing underneath. Yep, just cardboard packaging at this point. So there we go. All right, so we've unboxed the actual unit. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more of the accessories that came in the bundle. Okay, so let's take a look at how about the uh, the type cover first. So here we go. The type cover comes in again, this uh, nice packaging here. It's got a very clear front, nothing along the edges here. And again, a very minimalist background here. Um, again, make a note that this is not the one with the Alcantara fabric, but uh, let's see, how do we open this? I think you kind of pull on this a little bit. Okay. There we go, and voila, pops open. Let's see if we can just extract the cover. Oh, is there anything else inside here? Okay, there's a small set of instructions, it looks like, that come with this. Luckily, I think this is uh, pretty mindless. I think it should just attach right on, like old surfaces. So let's get rid of the packaging and the instructions. Take a look here at the type cover itself. Again, this is very light here. 
you can kind of see the backing here and it already has this fabric like feel here so this is one of the reasons why i decided not to really upgrade to that alcantara finish the the back of the alcantara keyboard looked almost identical to this i really couldn't tell much of a difference to uh, be perfectly, uh, in the interest of full disclosure though, the other keyboard did have the nice finish on the inside of the keyboard. So right here, all you see is this sort of, uh, sort of slightly fuzzy, uh, leathery kind of black. The other one did have that nicer finish, but really when the, when the unit's closed, you really couldn't tell the difference. And if I understand correctly, the keyboard is actually identical. So I couldn't really see the justification in upgrading. But anyway, this type keyboard should very easily and quickly just magnetically attach, and there we are. So now it's attached to the actual surface unit, so close it up, and you've got your uh, tablet, laptop, notebook, however you like to use it. So just make sure you pull the kickstand out, flop it down, open up the keyboard, and looks like we're ready to go. Okay, so that's the type cover. Let's close everything up and move it out of the way, and move on with the next item. Okay, so the, the next item that came in that bundle here was, again, a uh, a cover here. So there was a bunch of different covers that you could uh, put as part of your bundle here. There were ones that kind of looked like small mini backpacks. There were ones that were hard shell cases. There were one that were very minimalist. But I ended up going with this Tumi cover. It's actually very similar to uh, one that I had for my old Surface Pro 2. And I ended up finding that I needed to carry around, a little, unfortunately, a lot of extra junk with that laptop. So I had to carry, I, I love carrying around a full mouse because I, I really can't stand the touchpad um, for any actual serious work. So I carried around a mouse. And then you saw earlier that the Surface Pros come with this mini DisplayPort adapter. So in order to hook into projectors or secondary monitors, I would have to carry a mini DisplayPort to HDMI, a mini DisplayPort to VGA. Then I would also have to carry around the pen. So having a case that would allow me to carry all of that in one unit was very attractive. So I went with this guy here. So let's take a look at him. Um, the boxing is actually very, very simple. It's just sitting here in this box here. So that's kind of nice. Okay. Let's get rid of the packaging again and look at the actual unit. So very uh, nice in the sense that, again, you've got the main pouch here with a little bit of, uh, okay, foam. Let's throw that out. Uh, a little bit of instructions. I guess what's really nice about this case, it looks like it has uh, complementary monogramming here. So if you take a look at the case here, there's a little location here where I believe if I were to take this into the appropriate store and show my receipt, they should hopefully be able to monogram this for me. I kind of doubt I'll ever do that. So uh, let's chuck this. Um, again, take a look. It's got, oh great, your own silica gel packet. You can have one of those. Let's get rid of that too. So surface should fit inside here. And then in addition, it looks like it's got another pouch here. So hopefully I can store, you know, adapters, pens, business cards, what have you. Then it's even got a third compartment here with more foam. Let's get rid of the foam. Take a look at this. Oh, this is kind of nice. So you've got a place for business cards. Oh, here's a good spot for the pen and a couple of other pouches. So again, I think this is a really nice case here. That should hopefully be able to get the surface and it fits beautifully inside. I actually ride my, uh, I commute with my bike here. So this is nice and padded. So when I throw this in my bike bag and just go down the road, I think it should uh, protect everything quite nicely. All right, so that's the case now that came in the bundle. Uh, let's go take a look at the last item that came in the bundle. Okay, so the last thing that came in the bundle here was a Subscription to Office 365 Home here, so a one-year subscription. Um, what was kind of interesting about this is, uh, you know, it's 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 actually nothing physical, right? This is just a product key here. So it's got about a, they claim, a $100 value here. But I actually, unfortunately, don't really need this. I actually am able to get uh, Office through um, my university, so I don't need this. But... Uh, they told me at the store that this was actually fully transferable. So if I want to give this to uh, a family member or just hang on to this license key and not activate it, 
Um, they tell me that the license key never expires here, so I should be able to just hang on to it, and then whenever I do want to start that one-year clock, I'll just activate the key. So maybe I'll still hold on to this even though I don't plan on using it here. So again, this was uh, item three out of four that came in the Surface Pro bundle. So... Um, like we talked about earlier, the last item that came in that bundle was that extended warranty, but obviously there's nothing physical you can see there, so uh, I guess we won't be unboxing anything there. So with that, let's take a look at some of the items uh, that I had to buy sort of extra that were not part of the Surface Pro unit itself and not part of this bundle. Okay, so the first item uh, that was extra is, as we talked about earlier, I think the, one of the main reasons you're interested in a Surface Pro here is because the, you have the ability to use a pen to either draw or uh, annotate, take notes, um, or, you know, I actually use it mostly for signing documents here. So um, I ended up getting a Surface Pen here as well. So this is the new pen that is compatible with the Surface Pro. Um, Interestingly, if you're interested, uh, I actually tried to use my old Surface Pro 2 pen on this Surface Pro, and it does not work here. As you're probably not surprised. So anyway, here's the pen here. Let's take a look at this um, and see what actually comes in the box. So, oh boy, that's a little bit more taped up than I want to try to pick apart. So let's go ahead and uh, cut the tape here if we can. There we go. Pull this guy out. All right, so you get the pen here and this nice holder. I think that's pretty much it. Yep. Oh, wait, no. Is this instructions? Hey, check this out. That's really ingenious. So stuck in there is this set of instructions for the pen. Wow, I would not, was not expecting that here. So telling you how to do things like uh, replace the battery and pair the pen so actually, uh, I'm, I'm glad I discovered that. I might actually need to do that. And once again, if you need to do this in a different language, it's it's all here on the back. What else was hidden in this little sleeve? Oh, this looks like just some of the uh, the health and safety information. Yeah, this probably is not very necessary. So let's close all that out and take a look at the actual pen. So yeah, the actual pen Oh, it feels very nice actually in your hand. Yep, and it's, it's covered in this uh, plastic wrapping again, so let's get rid of the wrapping. Here, if we can just figure out how to pull everything off. This is actually very well done, and might be too well done that I might not be able to get it off. Oh, there we go. Actually, I probably should have done that first. Okay, pull that entire sleeve. Ah, there, and then it just comes unwrapped now. Okay. Let's try this. Now it is a little bit glued and stuck to it, but luckily the glue is nice and has no residue associated with it. So there we go. There's the pen. And it should be magnetic here. So if we come back to where do we stick our surface? It's over here in our case. And just come over here on the left side and click. There we go. Pen should be stuck on. Yep, and that's actually a pretty good strong connection, but still I don't think I would trust this all the time, which is why 99% uh, of the time I'm just going to leave the pen in the bag because, yeah, well, yeah, see, look at that. You just kind of, it, it will come off, it looks like. If you, yeah, if you knock it wrong, it looks like the pen will just knock off, and since this is about a hundred dollar pen, um, something you probably want to keep track of. So, uh, all right, that's the pen. So let's get this out of the way and continue on our tour with our last uh, extra item. Okay. So the last extra we got, if you remember, the whole reason um, of having a Surface is to have something nice and portable. So I didn't want to be lugging a power supply uh, around with the actual unit all the time. So I picked up a second one that I can keep at home or the office. So let's, uh, let's take a look at here. Yep, 65 watt power supply. Again, similar minimalist design with just information on the back. All right, so why don't we go ahead and let's cut the tape down here at the bottom. There we go. Pop this open. And let's see here. What have we got here? So again, power brick, which is nicely entwined with all of this packaging. And again, down here, hidden at the bottom, some safety and health and warranty information, I assume. Not terribly interesting. So we can close all this up, get the packaging out of the way, and let's take a look at the actual unit. 
looks, uh, as we probably hope, identical to the uh, unit that came with the laptop. Same connector as expected. You know, for comparison's sake, why don't we put the two side by side? So here's the extra power supply, and then here's the power supply that I got with the computer. And as you can see, I guess they're not identical. You got a window sticker on one of them, and actually, it looks like they're slightly different. I'll have to look at the specs more closely, but I'm fairly sure that the input and output would be very similar here, um, but I, I I guess they're not identical. If you take a look at them, if you try to line them up, so I got one side sort of flush, and you can kind of see that they are not the same thickness here. So the aftermarket or the exce the extra item here is a little bit thicker than the other, and I guess if we took a look at the specs very very closely, so let me see the extra one is an output of 15 volts here at 4 amps and oh that's interesting so the one that came with the laptop the output is actually 15 volts at 2.58 amps that's interesting so these are not actually the same huh well well I'll give it a try I would assume that the surface is smart enough and is able to charge off both of them maybe it's just going to take slightly longer with the original one but that's all right. Um, I'm just looking for something that will be able to charge on both uh, at home and at the office. So, all right, there we go. So that should be all of it. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe uh, put everything in the box and see where we're sitting now. All right, so there you have it. Here's all the stuff that I guess you would probably care about. And again, what's really nice is most of this will package up into a single nice carrying case. Maybe I'll put one of these chargers in here just to illustrate the portability of this system here. So again, that's nice. Everything comes down to this small little package here. And unfortunately, to get to that, it looks like we had to go through a lot of packaging here, but uh, I guess that's how things usually are nowadays. Well, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I uh, look forward to seeing you on a future one. Talk to you later. Bye.